All right. So we're going to discuss a little Jadavian Clowney. There was a, uh, there's a rumor going out um, that the Ravens could be the favorites to, to land them. Um, another team that's interested or that's at least in the mix is the Pittsburgh Steelers, mm-hmm. our rivals. So yeah, we just wanted to do a quick video, talk about that for a second and uh, give our thoughts. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see him ending up with the Steelers. I'm not sure they have the money to sign them, and they're they're pretty, they're pretty solid on their on the edges already. Yeah. I mean, obviously you can upgrade from Dupree, but uh, I feel like that's not going to be a priority for them. Right. Um, you know, you said this before, and you know, you have uh, um, experts that have have said this before. You know, when you you can always make room for somebody if you really want them, you know, sure. um, and Pittsburgh really wants them. And if they're, and if they're, if they're interested in them, that, that tells me they, they know that they can find some way to, to add them. And if they do, that would be very scary. <laughs> yeah. They have a really good defense already. And if they add them to that. That would be, uh, I mean, more, more so for, uh, Baker and Joe Burrow, I, yeah. I, you know, Baltimore, has probably the the best tackles in the league. Uh, I mean, not not to say that it wouldn't you know <laughs> there wouldn't be a, a serious challenge, but right. I, mean, I think they could handle. I think they could handle the Steelers' pass rush. Yeah, um, and you know we'll, we'll see what the what the offense is like with Big Ben coming back this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I still don't think it's going to be particularly good, but no. you know he you know even if you have uh, have him for you know. At fifty percent, he's still better than than the quarterbacks he, he you know they had last year. So, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's something to look out for. But the rumor is that the Ravens are favored to to land him, and that'd be scary for everybody else in the in the division. Good for us. Um, yeah, I mean, I I feel like that's something that should have happened a long time ago already uh, for Baltimore. Yeah, me you know, too. They, but you know, I I think it's one of those things where maybe Clowney just didn't want to show up to camp. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that's, that's possible. But, you know, Baltimore, through the draft and free agency, didn't really do anything to address edge rusher, which was a weakness already, you know, yeah. last year. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I thought that it, it made sense for them to go after him. Uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, 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 it's kind of a terrible thing for me since I just drafted Tyus Bowser in our Dynasty League. Uh, <laughs> but... No, no, that's a strong move for Baltimore. I just hope it's not one of those situations where they're just kind of putting it out there that they're looking at a guy that, that people want them to sign just because. You know, you've seen them do that before. I'm, I'm about to go conspiracy theory for, for a quick second, right? And I don't think I'm too far off. What if, what if they had already worked something out with Clowney earlier in the offseason? And it was just one of those things where Kalani was like, "Yes, I'm going to sign with you. It's going to be a, it's a it's a done deal. We'll keep it quiet, but you know, I want to come towards the end of training camp. I don't really want to, you know, go through all that. You know, like most veterans, most veterans don't want to go through that, right? And and the Ravens were like, "Cool, because we need time to find a way to get Earl Thomas off the team." <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> like- they're just they're, they're they're doing the Baltimore thing where yeah, yeah. they feel like they're just they're just kind of lucking into what they should have been doing anyway, you know. Yeah, yeah, and they'll get praised for it that you know we're geniuses and you know we always have a plan. Nah, we get lucky. Look, they are a good organization. Let's not mm-hmm. let's not you know you know let's get that straight. They are a good organization, but I think. Their good reputation. They do treat players well, from what I can understand. Their good reputation, and they are more successful than not, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it bodes well for them. It, it, it helps with their good fortune because players do want to go there typically, right? Um, but it's still lucky, man. Like those players could easily be like, "Nah, I'm gonna go over here," you yeah. know. And 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 you know, this is a perfect example. You look at the Ravens and the Steelers, both organizations have a history of winning. But more recently, you see players running away from Pittsburgh, Mm -hmm. you know, for whatever reason. And, you know, I'm willing to bet that the reputation between the two of them, between those two organizations, 
you know, Baltimore probably has a better reputation right now with players. So, yeah. Yeah. But it, it, yeah, it's just one of those, it's like uh, the Elvis Dumerville situation. Like they got, they got praised for bringing in Elvis Dumerville when what really happened is his agent screwed up and he was out of a job in Denver. Like that's not yeah. anything to do with Baltimore, but you know, they just hung around and hung around and hung around and they, and they signed a guy who happened to be available when nobody thought he would be. Yeah. Like that's not, that's not good management. It's just, I mean, you, you can, you can say, Hey, you know, good on them for having the, the cap space ready to go to sign people just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could also say you should just use that cap space to sign people earlier <laughs> True. and not, and not worry about it, you know? Yeah. Because you like you don't you didn't plan for Jadavian Clowney to be available at the end of August. You just weren't going to sign him. Yeah, you know I I think that's what it was really. I mean I I, I talked the conspiracy theorist stuff you know just for fun. But to be honest, I I think it was one of those things where Clowney won a certain amount of money. Uh, Ravens weren't going to pay it, so they kind of took themselves out of it. But then nobody was willing to pay it, mm-hmm. so Clowney kind of came down on it a little bit to a number that multiple teams will be interested in them for a year and the Ravens got back in and they said, well, out of all these teams, I want to go with the team that has a shot at winning the Super Bowl." Right. You know? So yeah, we got lucky. Yeah. I mean, and, and really the only reason um, all on board with them signing David Clowney is because there really aren't any wide receivers available because it really still is. You know, I'm going to say this every time we talk about Baltimore, they're only going to go as far as the offense carries them. I agree. I agree. Um, and I'm with you. Um, yeah, it's because there's nothing really else out there that can help us offensively. Yeah, go with Clowney. Go with Clowney. He's a playmaker mm-hmm. on defense. So, yeah. so we'll see how it goes.